This is an overview of the Honeywell BW Technologies GasWord Extreme gas detector. So in the box you get two little manuals. Uh, one is a reference guide, what the buttons do and kind of uh, uh, some of the features of the unit. The other one's a, um, a supplementary materials that covers things like there's a quick reference card in here that talks about what the buttons do, talks about bump testing and things like that. The, uh, so you want to hold on to those. The uh, also, unit also comes with a calibration adapter and some tubing and the monitor itself here. So let's go through the basic operation. So uh, to turn it, you've got four buttons, on, off, down, up, and an enter button. The sensor is here. The audible alarm comes out of here. You also have a real-time display at the top and alarm lights around. You've got a clip on the back. And this unit has a battery inside that it's not rechargeable. You use it and then replace it. And there's details in the manual how to do that. So you can turn it on just by hitting that button. Um, take the screen cover off here, the protector. Um, now, there is a thing called a confidence chirp. If you want it to turn it on, you can hold this down, hit start. I shall do that. So it boots up and it starts to show all the segments. It shows the, the time and date. Now, again, you could just turn it on with this button, but if you hold this down and start it, it turns on a thing called a confidence beep or chirp. So every five seconds it will send a, that little beeping noise and also every minute it vibrates just to let the user or wearer know that it's that it's working. If you want to turn that off next time you turn it on you hold this hit that again and it shuts it off. So it's gone through the time and date the days to calibration. We recommend that you bump test this each time before you go to use it either manually or with the dock. The factory says to calibrate um, every 180 days a lot of customers choose to do it every 30 days, uh, but uh, again, that would be done either with the manually calibration or uh, or with the dock station. So now I'm just going to look at the. Uh, so re we're reading real time right now, and it's zero ppm SO2. Just referring to the manual here to uh, to get into. And actually, as it's starting up, it also shows you all the alarm points as well. But so right now it's measuring real time. If I want to go and see um, the TWA, the calculated TWA, that's that value. The STEL, it's showing it. It's also showing the maximum that's been reading right now. Now it goes back to reading um, real time. So really starting it up, uh, again, bumping or calibrating and then just wearing it and if at any point it goes into alarm to leave the area and um, and don't turn it off and turn it back on in the hazardous area. Um, anyway, that's the, the basics of the unit. And to turn it off, you just hold this and for five seconds and it'll shut it down.